chemical cells involving metals and solutions of their own ions. In our left hand beaker we've got magnesium sulphate solution and we have a piece of magnesium sitting in that attached to our crocodile clip and into our multimeter. On the right hand side beaker we've got copper sulphate solution, that's the blue one, with a piece of copper metal and again connected to our multimeter. We're recording the voltage produced again in this cell. Connecting both of these beakers we have our wet filter paper, so filter paper soaked in salt water. Again that's our ion bridge and it's required to complete the circuit. In this example, one of our metals will be giving away electrons. Any idea which one that would be? Okay, in this case it's magnesium. The more reactive metal in a chemical cell like this always gives away its electrons. So the magnesium gives away electrons and forms magnesium ions. So in the beaker we'll have more magnesium ions forming. Those electrons travel through the wires Okay, over to the piece of copper metal and when they reach there, the copper ions in solution accept those electrons and form new copper. Now this is a very slow process in this example here, but that's what happens. Ultimately in a cell like this, then the chemicals will run out. The magnesium will eventually all be used up and we wouldn't be able to generate any more power. So this is the type of setup that you might uh, come across in a battery which is not reusable. In our two beaker cell, we have two different metals sitting in solutions of their own metal ions. In this particular one, magnesium is our more reactive metal and it will give electrons away as shown by the arrow. Here we have magnesium solid becoming magnesium two plus ions and giving away two electrons. This equation can be found on page 10 of your data booklet although you'll notice it's back to front. That's because all of the equations on page 10 are reduction reactions. This is our oxidation ion electron equation and a reminder that oxidation is a loss of electrons. In the other half of this cell, we have copper ions in solution, gaining the electrons lost by the magnesium to become copper solid. And the reduction ion electron equation for this is Cu2 plus Aq plus two electrons becoming Cu solid. And a reminder again that reduction is a gain of electrons. Now finally, what we want to do is to combine these to produce our redox equation. So that's our reduction and oxidation together. We have to first make sure that our number of electrons being lost are the same as the number of electrons being gained. And in this case, they are. Magnesium donates two electrons and copper accepts them. So we can combine this to give our redox equation, which is Mg solid plus Cu2 plus Aq becomes Mg2 plus Aq plus Cu solid.